This is just going to be a quick unboxing of the ZG Cine Atom wireless lavalier mic system with the RX receiver and transmitter. Uh, you can see how little they are and we'll see them in the box in a minute. Uh, some of the features that this has, fast charging, built-in microphone, 2.4 gigahertz transmission, and real-time monitoring. You can see a couple of other specifications on the side here, 2.4 gigahertz transmission, omnidirectional pickup mode, 5 volt 1A charging power, battery lasts about 6 hours, the distance it'll reach is about 50 meters, and the dimensions, but again, we'll be seeing that. Uh, as we get this opened up. So let's open up the box and see what comes inside. You can see automatically it comes in a nice little carrying case, small and compact. Of course you have your manual in there. So you've got your user manual with all the instructions so you will know how to use the uh, product. And let's take a look at uh, what you get in this nice little bag. So there's two pockets here. That's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's check out the front pocket first. It looks like these are going to be the transmitter and the receiver as well as little uh, dead cat covers for the uh, microphone. So that's cool. You get your dead cat uh, covers that you can put on the mic in order to eliminate wind noise if that's going to be an issue where you are. Let's take a look at these guys. Open them up. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is obviously the the microphone. This is the atom. This is the transmitter. And what's great about this is how small it is. You can see how small it is. It's just it's it's tiny. Really, really small. You've got, there's the uh, built-in mic right there. And you can also plug in a separate lavalier mic if you want to use just a, a separate mic on a wire. Plug that in and use this as your transmitter. So you can use this either as the mic, use the mic built into this, or you can plug in a separate mic and use this just to transmit. And then on the side too, you've got your uh, buttons, power button. That looks like a mic mute button. And this is probably the link button to link it to the receiver. That's what I'm guessing. And over here you have your charging port. It's a USB-C, USB Type-C uh, charging port. So that's really awesome as well. And uh, yeah, then you've got your little clip so it easily can clip onto your shirt if you're using this as the mic or clip on to your uh, waistband or something else if you're just using it as the transmitter. So that's the transmitter. I mean, there is, yeah, that's the transmitter. And that means this is going to be your receiver. So let's open that up and check it out. It looks like I actually powered that on. Um, okay, so this is the receiver. Again, same size, really small. So it's not going to take up a lot of space if you're attaching it to your camera or attaching it to your. Uh, gimbal stabilizer, which it's also made to easily do. Uh, you can see here you've got your headphone monitoring. So you can plug headphones directly in, into this, uh, whoever's filming, so that they can monitor the uh, sound that's coming through, which is great. You've got your little LED indicator light, as you saw when I first opened it up, because I hit something. Uh, you have the same kind of charging port here. This is your uh, type C charging port. And then I believe this is your line out to plug into your camera or your phone in order to uh, take the uh, sound it's receiving and get it recorded to your camera or your phone. You've got your power button here, turn it off or on. And then you've got your plus or minus sound buttons here. So these are really small. Obviously one of the ways they make them really small is they eliminate having any type of a um, display. Uh, and uh, that's because by doing that, they're able to reduce the number of components that are in here and make these really tiny, uh, really small, which is the advantage of them. And that's really, really cool. So let's see what is in the other side over here. 
got several things. Um, all right, so you've got your uh, shoe mount. So this is your shoe mount slash tripod mount. And you see it's just got this little thing. So your receiver can just uh, slide right, slides right into that. And so now you can mount your receiver to a, if you don't want to use the hook to hook it to something, you can put it on here and then you can easily mount it to a uh, shoe mount or to a tripod mount. So that's what that is. Uh, secondly, you've got this other kind of attachment. This is for use with a gimbal uh, so that you can attach this easily to a lot of the a lot of gimbals. So you same same concept. You're going to uh, drop this stuff. I've got too much stuff in my hands. You're gonna this is gonna slide right into there, and then this can easily attach to certain gimbals. So you can use that uh, to attach that to uh, certain gimbals that it'll attach to, and that way it uh, can stay on the arm of the gimbal and then have the wire go into your phone. So that's cool that they include that as well. It makes it easy to use it um, in that way. And then uh, we have here, um, this is a, a magnet. I'm gonna have to read the instructions to see exactly what that's for, because I don't know. It's just another, probably another way to attach to stuff. Um, so I'll have to read the instructions about that and see what that, that look, it looks like they're providing you with several ways to attach this, which is, that's awesome that they're including so many accessories in the box so that you can use this in a lot of different ways. Um, let's see what is in this package. Okay. So they actually do include your separate lavalier mic. So that mic, uh, I was pointing out that on the transmitter, you do have the option to use the mic that's built in or plug in a separate little lavalier mic. I didn't think that uh, they would include that, but they actually include that in the box. So you've got both ways uh, to use this included in the box. That's awesome that they also included the separate lavalier mic in the box for you. Um, looks like it's got a pretty long cord and a nice little cord organizer attached to it so that you can uh, keep all this stuff uh, straightened out. So that's really, really cool. Let's see what else we got here because there's still some more things. I'm guessing there's going to be a couple of cords to help you attach the receiver to your camera or your phone. Um, and this is specifically the uh, camera cable. So this is what you would use to attach the receiver to a camera or camcorder. And then this is probably going to be the other kind of cord for attaching something like this to uh, a smartphone. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, this is the phone cable. So this is what you'd use if you're attaching this to a phone. Uh, if you have a phone that has the, still has a jack, then this is the type of jack that plugs into the phone. Uh, if you have newer phones that don't have that, and you have, then you would also need a converter to convert it to either Type-C or Lightning, depending on if you have an Android phone with Type-C or an iPhone with the iPhone connector. Um, but uh, yeah, you would use this to then connect into that converter. So it's great that they include both types of cords and they label them for you so it's easy for you to know which one to use. And then these are probably gonna be charging cords, is my guess. Yeah, this is a charging cord. Oh, and this is awesome. This is really cool because look at this. You have a transmitter and a receiver, right? So you have to charge them both. Well, rather than having to keep up with two separate charging cords, you get one cord that has two uh, Type-C charging cords. So it's one USB that leads to two Type-C. So that way you can plug this into one port and then plug these into the transmitter and the receiver and be charging them both at the same time. And I love that because I uh, have used ones in the past where I had to have two different cords uh, charging, one charging the receiver, one charging the transmitter. Now with this one cord, you get the whole job done. 
So that's really, really cool. And you can use this probably to charge other Type-C stuff as well. So just an advantage, you don't have to use two USB ports. You can just use one USB port, plug this into, and then you've got two Type-C chargers. So really awesome accessory. So yeah, this is uh, all the stuff here that uh, comes in the box. You've got that nice little carrying case. You've got your transmitter and receiver. You've got your uh, additional separate lavalier mic. You've got your shoe slash tripod connector. This other connector that I've got to read the manual find out what it is. This one which is used to attach it to a gimbal or tripod. Um, you've got your US dual USB charging. You've got both cables to attach the receiver to a camera or a phone and the nice carrying case with the two pouches. So everything you need uh, and that's everything that comes in the box for this ZG Cine Atom wireless lavalier microphone system. That's going to be it for this unboxing. If you like this, please click that like button. If uh, you don't know anyone who might be interested in this product, share this video with them. All those ways are down there. If you have questions, I will probably answer them in a follow-up uh, review video. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a full review and demonstration of all this equipment. And uh, yeah, don't forget to favorite this playlist to keep up with future product reviews. Or subscribe to my channel and keep up with all my videos. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy.